This is the missing link. I'm going to show you how to set it up and how to use your mobile devices to control your MIDI instruments. The missing link can be powered with either a standard 2.1 millimeter DC wall wart or with the USB cable. Here I'm going to use an iPhone charger to power it using a standard USB cable. When you first plug it in, the LED will light red for a few seconds while the Wi-Fi is being initialized. When it's ready, the light will turn green. The missing link can send and receive MIDI over standard 5-pin DIN jacks and also using class-compliant USB MIDI. I'm going to use the MIDI out port to control some MIDI hardware. The missing link contains a Wi-Fi radio and it works by receiving OSC messages from your mobile device and converting them into MIDI messages. Let's start with a one-time setup for the Wi-Fi. First, go to your settings and make sure your Wi-Fi is turned on. Under choose a network, you should see missing link appear. Touch the blue arrow to configure your device for the network. First, select the static button to assign a static IP to your device. Then type IP address and enter an address. Use 192.168.1.69 to start. The subnet, which is 69 here, can be any number from 0 through 255 except for 100 which is the subnet of the missing link. If you set up more mobile devices, make sure each one uses a unique subnet number at the end. So for example, if you also connect an iPhone, use 192.168.1.70 or any number which is not already in use. Next, set the subnet mask to 255.255.255.0. And leave the rest alone. Now if you go back to Wi-Fi networks, you should be able to select the missing link and your device will connect to it. This will create an ad hoc network between your mobile device and the missing link. You'll need to connect to the missing link whenever you want to convert OSC to MIDI, but you'll only have to perform this setup once for each device. This will be an open network without any security so if you're using the missing link for a performance, you want to configure security settings and do a few other things to make sure your performance goes smoothly. We'll show that in another video. Now reconnect to your regular network so you can access the App Store. I'm going to show you how to set up the TouchOSC app with the missing link. Other apps will work as long as they allow custom OSC addresses. Setting them up should be similar. So go to the App Store and then type Touch OSC into the search box. There's the app. And then touch to install it. Once it's finished installing, open Touch OSC. Then type on Network to configure Touch OSC's network settings. Tap Host and type in 192.168.1.100. That's the missing link's IP address. For the outgoing port, type 12344. And for the incoming port, type 12345. The local IP address will be populated automatically. Now we're ready to add a layout to Touch OSC. Now go to our website, wifi midi.com, and go to the setup page. For your reference, this page covers all the steps in this video. 
Now download the appropriate Quick Start template for your device and save it to your desktop. Now connect your device using the USB dock connector to your computer and go to iTunes. On the left under devices, click on your device name and then click on the apps tab. At the bottom under file sharing, you should see touch OSC. Click add and then add the missing link template to your device. You'll see sync and progress flash briefly while your template is being transferred. Now go back to the home screen, go to settings, and connect back to the missing link. Now open Touch OSC, click on the missing link template, and click done. If you touch a controller here on the iPad, you'll see the LED on the missing link blink, and that's how you know it's connected. And if you use the keyboard for a MIDI device on MIDI channel 1, you should hear sounds.